Good afternoon, good evening. Today is January 19, 2021. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. My name is Julie. I'm coming to you from Newport Coast, California. My dear friend Milo. Milo, could you please say hello? Hello from Nashville. Milo from Nashville. Thank you, Milo. Yes, when Milo and I are getting together, we have a lot of things to talk about. We're talking about how life is going, the current situations in our life. And then we're talking about on passive. On passive is something that thousands of us are talking about every day. We're connecting to each other through on passive and on passive is all started with Mr. Ash Mufard. On passive is an artificial intelligent information technology company. It is a real company, a real business with real people and yet real people with real stories. But today we do have a special guest a very successful man that we all want to hear what he's talk about. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let Milo, uh, if you could please uh, introduce our guest, Milo. Absolutely, Julie. We are so thrilled today to have this guy with us. And we all know him as kind of the numbers guy, uh, but I'd like to bring him out right now. Mr. Michael Williams with AIM. Mike, how you doing? I am doing awesome. Thank you so much for having me today. Great to be here with you, both Julie and Milo. Oh, man, thank you. You don't know what what an honor it is for us to have you on the show, man. You, we've all seen you so much and, uh, you know, going through your numbers things. and You get us excited every time you talk, that's for sure, you know. And, and uh, it's just great to be in, uh, you know, to watch you on the videos and stuff. But I got to ask you, let me ask you about, uh, can you give us a little bit of background? Where were you born? You know, your siblings, how many siblings you got, your mom, dad, and, you know, your family? Sure. Um, so I was born in Jamaica, and uh, I came to Canada at a very young age, did most of my school here, uh, went to the States uh, on a football scholarship, um, you know, so did that, uh, you know, finished off my degree here in Canada. Uh, with a math uh, degree uh, after going around in so many different channels. So, you know, I uh, did the, did the um, uh, mechanical engineering thing, uh, did the business thing, um, you know, did the computer science thing, and then finally decided to just uh, finish off with math. So uh, that's kind of the, the, the route I took um, education-wise. But I, I found that most of my education kind of came after all of that. You know, just being out there in the in the workforce, being out there, um, you know, working for myself, et cetera. Uh, that's kind of where the real learning, um, you know, started. Uh, as far as my family, you know, I'm married, uh, three wonderful children. I've been bar- married now for over 18 years, you know, and uh, it's uh, life is good. You know, life is good. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. Thank you, Michael. Um, I noticed that there is an abbreviations behind your name, A-I-M. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about what it is and what does that represent? Sure. Um, uh, AIM, Automatic Internet Millionaire. And so uh, about 10 years ago, um, you know, my, my thought has always been, you know, we joined these companies, you know, and, and they have the resources, they have the money, they have the technology. Uh, why can't we simply just join the company, pay them, you know, and they will then do all the work for us? Right. So I believe uh, that's what companies should do. And so this was my idea 10 years ago. And so I started Automatic Internet Millionaire, where we would join um, different businesses and we would combine it into one system whereby, you know, we would set up the business for them. So we've set up capture pages, autoresponders, create the sales letters, all the follow up. And we also uh, drove the traffic uh, to their domain. So people actually came in with us and did absolutely nothing. All they had to do was just register. And so we were doing that uh, for a while, um, you know, but one of the things that you find uh, with these companies is that they change their compensation plans, um, they change their prices, you know, um, they change even their, their, their marketing schemes, uh, and some of them actually disappear. <laughs> so, um, you know, it, 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 it was a struggle um, doing that because it wasn't our products. Right. It wasn't our services. We're always partnering with other companies, you know, and so that was a struggle and also frustrating having to restart and restart and restart as things didn't go as planned. 
Um, but that was the concept anyhow. It was basically to have people to come in whereby we can do everything for them. And that was uh, from 10 years ago. And you know, we're still generating the income stream from that today, although we don't promote uh, it at all at this point. Uh, but it certainly gave us um, a tremendous amount of experience over the past 10 years. Wow, that's awesome. That is, that is so cool. So, so I, I've got to go back to when I asked you, you said you're from Jamaica. I, I've been to, I went to Jamaica. I loved it over there. It's like everyone seems to be happy all the time. You know, <laughs> like me. It was, it's great, you know, and they sing and stuff. But uh, you said you played on a football scholarship. Uh, where, did you, where did you play football at and what position? Uh, that was in Michigan, and so I was a cornerback, so a defensive back, um, you know, and yeah, I've, it, it's just, that's my sport. That's, that's always Wolverines? been my sport. <laughs> Pardon? For the Wolverines? Uh, not, not for the Wolverines. Um, there's a, a school called Michigan Tech University. Absolutely. So that's, in, that's in the northern part of Michigan. Oh my God, Holton, Michigan? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the you UP, where, Upper Peninsula. <laughs> you know where I grew up? Where did you grow up? Escanaba. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> I grew up in Escanaba. Who wouldn't know that? Yeah. Sure what, if there's one place I would never live, it would be Holt, man. There it, you go. That is so like true. <laughs> winter all the time up there, you know. I was up there in July, and there was still snow on the freaking ground. Well, listen, when I, when I went down for a recruiting trip, it was in the summertime, of course. And I thought, wow, this is just an awesome place. You know, you can leave your, your yeah. home, leave the door open, car door open. You, had, you know, none of those issues there. And I'm like, this is, you know, this is just a great place to come. And so um, after, we, after I noticed in October, you're playing in snow, I was like, I don't think this is for me down here. You know, so I wasn't, I wasn't looking forward to that playing in snow in, in October. You know, December, I can understand. But not October. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing pictures of where, you know, the, the snow went right up the roof and they would dig yeah. holes into the door and the windows. And I'm like, how can people live up here? You know? <laughs> 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 oh, that's a great, that's a great thing. Oh, man. Yeah. Thanks for that's, sharing that. That's very interesting. Um, Michael, I, I know that you had um, answered the previous questions about AIM. Um, I'd like to actually going back into it a little bit um, about the company that um, Milo and I and now connecting with you and getting to know you through that company. That company is on Passive, which we are so excited about it. Tell us a little bit, when did you come in and why did you join on Passive? Okay, so in um, July of 2018, um, one of my members who, who was part of AIM uh, he shared the information about on passive with me and, uh, you know, you know, have I, you know, have I heard about it, et cetera. And um, I was like, well, no, but you know, sure. I'll take a look. And so I just did a little, just brief, um, you know, I didn't spend in, any time on it. And as soon as I heard, you know, the hundred percent done for you, I was like, nah, it's not going to work. Cause I mean, this is what we were doing and we keep spinning our wheels, spinning our wheels, spinning our wheels. You know, um, but then others uh, kept sending me the information. You know, you got to take a look at this thing. And so I said, okay, all right. So I, I took the time and I went through the information. I saw those two first uh, videos by our CEO, Ash Mufara. And um, I tell you, I said, listen, if this guy can pull this off, if he can really do this, if he has the resource and the tech um, behind him, you know, then this is a winner. So um, I jumped in, um, you know, thereafter, and it's just, it's just a done deal, you know, as the saying goes, it's just a done deal. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. You know, with on passive, it, it's, it's so awesome. I like to say, you know, that I believe that on passive is changing the world one person at a time. And it started with Ash Mafara, you know. And it, it goes down to all of us, and it's incredible the way this whole system works. But I, I mean, I, and I realize that we're not a network marketer, we're not an MLM. You know, we are definitely not that. We are a licensed, registered company around the world. But I do feel that it's got a, a it will have a big place in these uh, these different industries. Do you feel the same like MLM network marketers? I could see them using it. You know, the big list, the email, you know, a lot of the portfolios we've got 
can you can you expand a little on that? Sure, absolutely. And so, you know, when we when someone wants to come on the internet and they want to, um, you know, uh, build a business, you know, they have to have a domain name. Okay, uh, you know, that's your location that tells people where you are. And so, you know, that's one thing they have to have. They need to have um, autoresponders because they need to automate a lot of the work, a lot of the following up. You know, even the presenting, all that can be done through an autoresponder. You need to have capture pages because you need to capture your visitor's information. You want to be able to market to your vision, visitor or communicate with them over and over again. And that's the purpose of a capture page. So a lot of times I see people have a website up and they have no way of knowing who came to their site and, and, and have any additional way to further contact the individual over time. And so it's important to be able to capture when you go into stores, especially here in Canada, when you go into a store, you know, that's the, almost like the first thing they want. They <laughs> want your email address, you know, and because that is so important. Email address is crucial when it comes to communication. And so for any business, whether you're in the restaurant business, whether you're in, um, uh, you know, sports apparel business, you know, grocery stores, it doesn't matter. Uh, you want to be able to communicate with your customers so you can get repeat customers. Anytime you have some sort of discount or sale going on, you want to be able to communicate that to your customer base. So email is very, very important. And so, you know, when you look at the ecosystem that on passive, um, you know, has, uh, this is a dream come true for anyone who's in the network marketing space, multi-level affiliate marketing referral, whatever you want to call it, you know, anyone that's in the marketing space, they definitely need to be in on passive or at least be a customer of on passive because the crucial piece that most don't understand or don't know how to do is the traffic portion of it. Being able to have visitors upon visitors, you know, um, being presented with your offer, being presented um, with whatever business that you're engaged in. You have to have that. And so many people, they fail miserably just because they don't know how to drive traffic, you know? And so if on passive is providing all of that and they definitely will be providing all of that, you know, so it's a win-win, you know, as our CEO says, all we do here is win. Absolutely. And thank you for that. Um, Michael, I know that I, I have heard a lot in um, the conversation that many of us founders having that if you are in on passive, you're guaranteed to have the success. Now, I haven't been any company that actually guarantee my success. Now we are in on passive together and I know you are a number guy and you do talk about numbers a lot of time. So how can one be successful when he or she being in on passive? Okay, so for, for someone to be successful, you have to be able to create sales. You have to generate sales. If you can't generate sales, you're not going to make any money. Okay. And so, uh, as someone joins a particular business, most people don't know how to sell, right? They just don't. You know, maybe you're a lawyer, maybe you're an accountant, maybe you're a doctor, dentist, you know, teacher, garbage collector, carpenter, whatever the case may be. But most people, they just know what to do within their profession, right? Um, but selling now, that's a total different ball game. You know, you pick up a newspaper. There's always sales positions, always, right? Because it's a high turnover industry, okay? Because most people just don't know how to do it. It's an art form, okay? And so what you have with on passive, on passive is saying, listen, we are going to do the selling for you. We're doing the work. Part of the work is selling. It's sales, right? So if you have that part taken care of, which is, you know, very, very difficult for most, they just can't recruit. If you, someone runs a business and you say, okay, you only have to have two signups or two customers or, and they can't even get two, right? So most people just can't do it. Yet you have some individuals that can get 500, 600, 700, you know, personal sales, right? Or personal referrals. You know, some people can go and build a network of 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. And yet you have some who can't even build a network of two, right? Or three or four, they just can't, right? And so if you have a company that's coming out and saying, yes, we are going to do this. We have solved, you know, the, the age old problem for networkers or anyone engaged in that type of activity. We have solved the problem. You can't recruit, not a problem. We've got you covered. You can't sell, not a problem. We got you covered. 
So if that is taken care of, if the selling part is taken care of, and you're going to have customers upon customers upon customers upon customers, then your success is guaranteed. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, that is, uh, that's so awesome. You know, and, and I agree with you. I mean, you know, the old way of, you know, get three and they get three and they get three and it looks easy on paper, but it never works out that way. That's right. Oh, it that's never right. works out that way. Even though, you know, if you can get your three, you're still dependent on the other people getting their three and it doesn't happen, you know? Absolutely. So this is the beauty of this thing, you know, and, and I love the, the part I love about it too, is the giving back, you know, uh, when we first come in, it was about, you know, thinking, uh, we talked to a lot of founders and it's about thinking about, you know, how, how much money we're going to make and this and that, but, but then it moves away from that because you realize that's guaranteed that you're going to make money that it's there. And you go into, you know, the give back program, you know, where you give out, and then people come in and it's a beautiful thing, you know, to bring people, be able to bring people in for free. Expand on that a little bit. Well, on passive was created, you know, in order to, to, you know, help people create wealth. It, it, you know, on passive wasn't created, you know, to help someone make an extra couple hundred bucks a month or 500, you know, a thousand a month. Um, you know, if that's what a person wants, yeah, that's, that's fine. And, and, and that is covered, right? But the, the idea behind it was if I can help people become wealthy, and this is Ash Mafara speaking, if he can help people become wealthy, you know, you know, won't those individuals now turn around and take their newfound wealth and bless others with it, right? And, and that's his goal. Now we know most people, you know, I believe will do that. There's going to be some, but that's okay. If we can just get another person and then another person and another to, to, to just follow suit, right, to, to catch all of this type of a vision, you know, whereby you can help millions of people around the globe, right, because of how you have been helped, of you have been blessed, right? And so that's what's going to happen here. You know, again, not everyone's going to be millionaires, right? You know, not everyone's going to be making a gazillion dollars. No, 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 right? But you're going to have some folks that all of a sudden now they're making a million dollars a year from this business. Okay, do they really need a million dollars a year, you know, to, to be happy, to have a successful lifestyle, right? In most cases, no, right? And especially we're talking about it from a global perspective, you know, maybe in America or Canada, you know, uh, UK, Australia, Germany, but there are a lot of countries around the world that if that individual can just get a hold of, you know, say $10,000 a year, that person can live like a king or a queen in their country, you know, so it doesn't take a whole lot. And so I believe that this company can produce, you know, well over uh, 10,000 individuals that will be millionaires uh, in this business, right? And if that be the case, just think of how many lives that they in turn can bless, because sometimes that money can go a long way. Sometimes you take that money now and you've created another business. You started a company where you can employ others. And so that's all you're helping people. Not necessarily, you know, here's a thousand for you. Here's a thousand for you. No, right. You can now go into communities and create jobs, right, whereby you're now stimulating the economy and now you're helping so many people have now they have a purpose in life you know those kids that are on the street don't have to be on the street anymore because now i'm actually teaching you how to fend for yourself right by giving you a job okay not everyone's going to be in business for themselves right and, and that's not necessary right i still need somebody to come and shovel my snow i still need somebody to cut my grass i need somebody when something goes wrong inside the home to come in and fix the problem because that's not me okay so you know, it's, it's important that we want to stimulate the economy. And so the way on passive has this thing set up where we can bless other people's lives. Why wouldn't I want to bring as many into it so that they can get a direct blessing and then indirectly bless others as well. Right. So, you know, it's just a beautiful thing where it's all set up. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I wanted to talk a, a little bit about the numbers really quick. And if it needs some time, we can wait for it. But um, I have a couple of people asked me in, in, within my team, they said, Julie, I have about 20 people that I brought in directly under me. Out of those 20 people, there's only three people that actually really do something, really be uh, get involved in. And they'll probably have about two, three people under them. What what kind of the number I'm, I'm, am I making when this company on passive launch? I didn't have the answer for that. So you are the number person. 
and I like to maybe um, have you answer that question. Sure. Well, you know, I think a lot of people, you know, want to micromanage their business, right? And and so they're looking at it from you know a small point of view in the sense of you know what am I going to make the first month? You know, I have this many people. How much am I going to make? You know, but in the grand scheme of things, in the big picture, okay. Um, people should be looking at this business, you know, three to five years out. Okay. So you may have three people on your team. You may have no one on your team. You may have 20 on your team, right? But how many will you have on your team three years from now, four years, five years from now, even 12 months from now, right? That's how I like to look at this business. And I believe that anyone joining now as a founder within the first 12 months, they can easily see 1000 on their team, right? So imagine if you only have 10, if you have 20, Okay, well, by the end of the year, by the end of, you know, where we're in 2021, so come December 2021, you could have a thousand on your team. How many people, you know, based upon other companies that they've been involved with, have ever seen a thousand on their team? I've ever created a network of a thousand, right? And so, you know, when, when I look at that to, to convert that back to numbers, convert it back, back to income, you know, I believe that those who are founders, you know, in their first year, regardless of what their situation is, regardless of how many on their team, you know, those individuals can see a realistic income potential of $6,000 in their first year. Now, some people look at that and they hear the number, they think, wow, that's kind of small, right? But what we're talking about is any situation, okay? meaning it could be someone who has zero on their team right now, it could be someone who just joined today, right? that individual can see something like that. And if you spend $97 to join a business and then you spend anywhere from $100 to $250 for your product package purchase, right, at launch, if that's all that's out of your pocket, that's it, nothing else, right? And after 12 months, you've generated $6,000. Where else can you go and what other business can you join where you didn't even do a thing? The company's doing all the work for you. Right? The company is the one that's driving the traffic. The company is one that's presenting. The company is one that's following up. Right? When you get customers, the company is the one that's in communication with these customers. You're not even servicing your customers. Okay? You're not even servicing them. So the company is doing all of this for you. And if all you make is, say, $6,000, listen, I know some folks in India, and if that's all they got in their very first, first year, <laughs> they're ecstatic, right? ecstatic. I know some folks in PNG, if that's what they get in their first year, same thing, right? Same thing. And we can go on and on. Vietnam, um, Philippines, you know, a again, there's, when, if you look at the, the average income that countries generate just as a whole in, in, in any, any industry, right? There's only a handful of, of, of uh, countries that make, you know, upwards of $40,000 per year. Right. I'm, I'm going to guess here and probably say maybe 20 countries in the world. That's it. Right. So that's not a lot. Right. So that tells me if someone is able to generate that without lifting a finger. Right. The company gives us the opportunity to have multiple accounts. So imagine someone who has 10 accounts. They made six thousand for each one. That's sixty thousand dollars in their first 12 months. Right. So there's ways and means that people can multiply that amount. Right. Without necessarily having to build and build and build. You don't have to be a big builder in this business. Even if you are a big builder, even if right now you have 50,000 on your team right now, okay? Don't you think that you need millions, right? Like if you, you know, because that person was a big builder, they're thinking big. They're thinking, you know what? Yeah, I want to be making, you know, seven figures, eight figures annually in this company, right? Eight figures is $10 million a year. Right. So I'm sure and because I do know some of them. OK, so I'm sure there's some thinking along those lines. OK, but if the company is going to generate, you know, hundreds of million customers over time, the one thousand that you have or the ten thousand that you have or the fifty thousand that you have right now on your network, that's tiny. Right. That's that's tiny. You know, and so when we un put it in, in those perspective and look at it from a macro standpoint, you know what we have, what we're doing. You know, it's not that important. I just tell people, listen, do what you can. If what you can do is to build a network of three, so be it. If you can build a network of 15, so be it. Do what you can, because whatever you do, you're speeding up your process for success, 
right? You're going to get there faster. If your income goal is to get to $5,000 per month, well, by you pre-building now before we actually launch, you just now, you know, took a giant leap to you getting to that income goal. Because there's, there's those in, in on passive right now who are already in a position as soon as the door opens, day one, they're making $8,000 per month, $10,000. 15,000, 20,000 per month on day one, right? So the bottom line is that th there's a huge upside to this, right? A massive upside. And so anyone get in, like we say, you're in, you're going to win. We're in it to win it. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's some awesome stuff, Mike Williams. Man, you know, when you think about it and you, and you put all that in perspective, it is so cool. You know, and I know that you said about, uh, you know, the Internet or, you know, TV and stuff like that. If that if that happens to go, man, it just explodes this even much more. But uh, unfortunately, we're running out of time. But again, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us uh, uh, today and going through this stuff. I know the founders are going to love what you, you have to say. And I just want to thank you for coming from one youper to another. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never known that if we hadn't had this show and talked, you know. So I want to thank you for uh, coming on the show and blessing us. Actually, Milo, if I yeah. may, keep my call a little bit longer. Because okay. I do have an, an, an itching question that someone had asked me to ask. And actually, for myself as well. Um, you know... Every time when we talk about something, uh, the knowledge, the passion is there. Uh, but if you come to someone who has no idea what on passive is about, and all we do is just kind of like pouring all the passion and knowledge on top of them, it kind of lose their attention span. So to me, I'm always trying to find a hook. You know, you got to find a uh, your a statement or a sentence that kind of hook that kind of get people attention just like what you're doing with the internet what is your hook questions or what is your statement or if there is something out there because a lot of our webinars are like maybe 30 minutes an hour 10 minutes it might be it, it might go you know people attention span might go somewhere so I like to have something where it's just basically just a hook I mean that's just kind of somewhere summarized all of uh, what I'm trying to explain or ask. <laughs> um, you know, there, there's, there's so many things that I've used in the past um, and, and still continue to use. And, and I'm always changing things up, you know, but, you know, for me, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's trying to find little one-liners that can get somebody's attention. Uh, but more importantly than that is what information am I providing? You know, I, I like to give them something short, you know, a two minute video, a three minute video, you know, something, something that's short, even 12 minutes. Most people, when they watch a video, the first three minutes and that's it, you know, so you really have to captivate their attention in that time frame, you know, so um, off my head right now, I'm not sure if I can come up with a, with a quick liner, but, you know, I know in the past I've used stuff like, you know, um, if I can show you a way, you know, to generate uh, a million dollars in the next 12 months, you know, um, you know, will you pay attention, <laughs> you know, um, you know, uh, how to become an automatic internet millionaire in your first 12 months, you know, just, just little stuff that make people stop and think that, hmm, what, what, what does he mean by that? You know, um, what are they trying to say? You know, um, how would you live your life? You know, if in the next three to five years, money was no longer an issue, you know, you know something like that, right? You, you just, just little things that make people think. Um, and and, and, and w once you do that, so that's like my subject line, right? They're just a little, little thing, you know? Um, you know, could you use an extra, you know, $100,000 a year? It just, just anything, right? Just something that people can relate to, right? Would an extra $500 a month make a difference in your life? You know, just just different things that's going to, you know, make the person says, OK, let me see what that's about. Right. And, and, I, and I and I and I like the idea of the 100 percent done for you, you know, so so being able to, you know, say to somebody, you know, uh, you know, what would your life be like 
if you can make money while you sleep, right? Um, you know, how would you like to make an extra, you know, $3,000 per month without you lifting a finger? You know, just, just different things that you just throw at people that's going to make them, you know, at least get their attention because that's what you're trying to do, right? And then I take a little video or something and I, and I put it in front of them within that message and that's going to sort them. That's going to say, okay, that person is interested, you know, so they're ready to get in or they're interested, but they got questions, right? Or the other one is it's not for them. And so I'll then spend time with those who are interested, right? So whether it's to get in now or whether it's to have um, questions, right? And obviously the ones who say, nope, they're not interested, then okay, they go into a separate pile, right? So, you know, it's just, just things, things like that, um, Julie, is kind of how I go about it. And following up, following up is so key. You, you just got to do it over and over and over and over and over again. So when I have like pendant founders, I send them a message. And so, you know, two weeks may go by, I send them another message, you know, but always following up with them. And sometimes a year later, somebody joins, right? So even though I contacted them, you know, 12 months ago, but because I was consistent with the following up, you know, things happen. But yeah, but people can, it's, it's trial and error. There's no magic pill. There's no one sentence that's going to work, um, you know, but you just keep changing things up, tweaking. I don't like to do a full change. So I'm pretty much using the same information that I've used two and a half years ago. I'm still using it today. I just tweak it, right? I just keep tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. That goes for a little bit. Now it's time to tweak it again. And you just keep doing that. And then you see the results. Wow. I think consistency is the key. Don't they say normally, like if you're, you're emailing or if you're sending someone something, usually it takes them seeing it about seven times before they actually respond. Is that yeah, that, that, that number is thrown out there. Um, I don't know how true it is. Yeah. But it's, it's thrown out there. Um, but I, I simply say that, hey, listen, it doesn't hurt to just keep following up, following up, following up. Because you can automate the follow-up process, by the way, right? This is what an autoresponder does. So you can create a whole bunch of follow-up letters and, um, and, and you can designate, okay, every two days or once a week or whatever. You can put in the time frame that these things will automatically go out. And there's nothing for you to do. Once that person comes into your system, there's nothing you need to do, right? You're just off on your own, doing your own thing while the software, okay, um, that's doing all the work for you, knowing that, okay, today, you know, another 1,000 emails went out. Okay, another day, okay, another 1,000. And so that, that just keeps happening. And if, if a person don't want to be on your list, they just click a little button, click, unsubscribe, okay, and done, right? It's, it's that easy. Um, but you know, it, it does take um, creativity, skills, you know, all of that to be able to put this stuff together. And thank God that on passive, we'll be doing all of that for us. So we don't have to worry about it. So they'll, they'll probably have a drip cam campaign set up for you oh. in the autoresponders, you think? Oh, absolutely. Like w w once we launch, it's game over. Once we launch, all it is is about free trial members, right? And so we're going to be getting trial members coming in, coming in, coming in. And you yourself can be part of that process in the sense of you can direct people as well. If you have a list, you know, whatever the case may be, even your family, friends, you can do the same thing with them. You just want to direct them to that domain name, which is yours. And that's going to have, you know, a capture page. It's going to have a way to capture their name and email address. Once that takes place, the company in the back end with the AI technology, et cetera, they're going to be doing all this following up, following up with these individuals. You don't have to lift a finger. It's a beautiful thing. And okay. we're just going to see customers coming in and customers coming in and customers coming in because it's a well thought out of process. The fact that we'll have a different page every day, like that's, that's, that's incredible. golden. That is golden. You yeah. know? So it, it's, it's going to be an awesome, awesome ride. No doubt. That is absolutely incredible. I love it. Um, I know this has really come down to my last questions and I have to ask this questions because I feel that if I can stand in, on top of the mountain and scream and share about on passive, nobody would hear. And I'm very sure there are a few people who are actually watching this video right now still on the fence um, or there are founders already in on passive still have not done anything. So what is your word of wisdom to the people that still on the fence and the people that already in on passive and hasn't done much? Well, listen, 
if you are serious about your financial life, okay, if you are serious about your financial life, you need to make that $97 decision, okay? Because that's what I ask people to do, right? Listen, you're making a $97 decision. Think of what you could be doing with that $97, right? What would you spend it on, right? Um, I, I did a training last night, and, and what I was sharing uh, with the group is, is just that, that listen, a person takes that $100, what would they have done with it? Put it in Bitcoins? You know, like, like today, I'm not talking about when it was a dollar or $500 or even $1,000. I'm talking about today, right? So you're going to take $100, oh, I'm going to buy some Bitcoins because, you know, that's just the thing to do, right? Okay, for that $100 to become $200, Bitcoin would have to double in value. You would have to go from $35,000, let us say, to $70,000. Do you think that's going to happen in the next month, two months, three months, even next year? It's possible it could happen in a year from now, but the likelihood is that it's not going to happen a year from now, right? It could happen. It's a possibility, right? But think about that though. That's just to go from $100 to $200. Now, how, is that going to change your life? If your $100 goes to $200, is that going to change your life? No, it's not, right? But think about being in on passive, a person becomes a founder for that same hundred dollars, right? What, you know, what will their life look like 12 months from now, right? There's a realistic chance that even if that person, you know, comes in and, and they're letting the company do all the work for them, there's a realistic chance that they can see an income potential of $6,000. So let me see now, $100 to $200, $100 to $6,000, which one would I choose, right? Which one has a more realistic chance of occurring? Right. So, right. so these are the things that people should really be thinking about, because what else is there? What else is there that's out there? You tell me what company I can go join right now. And the company says, hey, we're going to set up a, dom a unique domain name for you. Right. So it's yours. Right. We're going to create the content. We're going to drive traffic for you. Not just any traffic, but targeted traffic. We're going to do all that for you. We're going to do the presentations. We're going to do the following up. We're going to close the sale for you. When, an, when, a, when a sale is made, right? So here comes a customer. Guess what? You're getting paid instantly. And you could be on a beach somewhere. You can be off with your family. You could be in, uh, just having a grand time while all this work is being done for you behind the scenes. Tell me which company out there is going to do that for you, right? So there isn't a company that will do that for you. On Passive is it. It's the only game in town. It's the only thing. People need to take a serious look at this. Forget about what naysayers may say. People said Bitcoin was a scam when it was a dollar. People said it was a scam when it was a hundred dollars. People said it was a scam when it was five hundred, a thousand, two thousand. Even when it was when, when it went to twenty thousand dollars, people said it was a scam. Right? It dropped all the way down to around four thousand or so, and people see, I told you, it's a scam. But guess what? Bitcoin is still around, thirty-five thousand plus per coin. Okay. Let on passive be your Bitcoin. I love wow. it. That's, That's awesome. Crazy. That's awesome. Milo, do you have anything else or should I take this uh, show to toward the end? <laughs> I just want to thank you again, Michael. You get us all excited. And uh, the way you tell it, it makes it so easy to understand. I love it. I appreciate you coming and, and sharing your story with us. And uh, thank you so much. Back Absolutely. to you. Thank you, Michael. Really appreciate this uh, this conversation. It's 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 short, um, but there there's more to the the, the topic of on passive. But I really appreciate you coming on here and share your passion, share your knowledge about on passive. Yes, everyone. If you're listening to this message, you see the knowledge coming out of this man, Michael Williams. A um, it is it on passive is it it is it is the topic of our life right now so if you're watching this message and you haven't become an on passive founder take the action because the action will take you so much further in life than where it is right now unless you are very successful right now but on passive is a place to be get back to the person who shared this message with you and if you are a founder who hasn't done much about on passive we urge you to log into your back office, explore the back office, get involved into on passive nations, on passive family, get back to the person who shared this and say how blessings 
you have been. Uh, because I feel blessing when Milo shared this message with you. So thank you so much for watching the Julie and Milo show. Um, please like and subscribe so that you have notifications from our upcoming shows. Um, also join the All on Passive um, with a Heart group in Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Michael, for being here with us. Really appreciate your time. Um, good night from Newport Coast, California. Good night from Canada. Good night from Nashville. <laughs>